All right, we'll keep this one pretty simple. We're going to be talking about how to negotiate a very large race. Now, you want as big a raise as possible in this case. So, let's go over something simple and straightforward first. It doesn't always work. It's not foolproof. I've only tried it in one industry. That's not true. I've tried it in two industries. Industries. How to negotiate a very large raise. Mm, okay, back to it. So, how do we negotiate a very large raise? Here's what I did one, have a job. Okay, that's important. If you have a job, you take your job and you go find a second job. Now, preferably, that second job pays more than the first job. There's an alternative to this, which is a slight bluff, right? So um, at a full bluff, you don't find a second job. You just do this without the second job. At a half bluff, you find a second job and it's more prestigious. Right? So it's like a little crown. It's more prestigious. It sounds fancier. You're a senior analyst at some company. Um, and you become senior vice president or something, vice president, whatever it is, whatever the next job is in your industry. Um, so you have a job, you get a second job. Now, if that job pays more, that's the best case, scenario, no bluff. Then you take the announcement back to your first job. Now, this is where a lot of people leave you hanging. You know why? Because they don't fucking do it, okay? They'll give you advice on how to do it, but they don't do it. One, either they work for themselves and they spend most of their time doing everyday shit, Right, like going to work and whatever, so they don't have time for that shit. And they have no one to ask a raise from because they work for themselves. Or they work for someone, but they've never done it. They're just doing some shit on the side. So you have a job, you get a second job that's higher paying, and you bring it back to this job. Here's how you do it. You tell them that you're quitting. You're giving them two weeks notice. And give them notice. Tell them that, to, you know, a certain date in October or November or whatever is going to be your last date. And let them know that the change is purely on compensation. That's it. That's an important and key piece. The only reason you're leaving is pure compensation. As a matter of fact, you should tell them that you love your manager. You love your job. You love the work that you're doing. Everything lines up, but you simply can't turn down the additional money. No shame in that. If you can't turn it down, you can't turn it down. Now, it's still not foolproof, all right? Some companies, the owner of the company will tell you, well, fuck off. But here's what you learned, okay? You would have never made that much money at the company that just told you to fuck off. They don't think you're worth it. That doesn't define your self-worth. Don't fuck with that stuff, okay? I know sometimes I do this all the time. I think about it. And I'm like, ah, oh, they don't think I'm worth it. That means I'm not worth it. That's bad for you. Don't do that. You're worth it. Okay. Your time is limited on this earth. Get your money. Now. It's all about pure compensation. And then that's it. That's all they need to hear. All they need to hear is that they can get you for a little more money and they can get you back. Now, you should know some things. You should know what your offer is and everything else. There's a couple of cool bluffs here, okay? So you can bluff the following way. You can say, all right, I've got a second job, for example, and they actually offered me 
five thousand dollars more than this job a year or five dollars more an hour or you know a thirty thousand dollar larger contract whatever however it is that you structure your pay so you've got this job but you tell them that it's actually significantly more okay now you're gonna need to do some research for that there's lots of things that you can research okay there's databases online um, provided by the government. I believe you can find them at bls.gov, Bureau of Labor Services.gov. Wherever it is, all the links are always in the description. So um, we're talking about pure compensation on the job. Oh, yeah, we're talking about gloves. Sorry, I lost track again. So that's, a, that's really your big bluff. It's either that or you don't find a job or whatever. I really don't recommend doing it without a job. I don't. And odds are you might fuck it up like once. The second time you'll know what to do. But the first time there will be some surprising questions. Like you'll like not be fully ready to tackle it. But you should do it anyway. The only way to get to that second or third time is through the first time. So again, take you through the steps. Have a job. Get a second job that's either higher paying or has a better title. Tell your employer that you're leaving because you're getting more money over there and make sure that they understand that that's the only reason that you're leaving. There's no other reason that you're leaving. Okay? As a matter of fact, tell them that you love your team. You love the work that you do. You love the people that you work with. Okay? Once they know that, they'll go out and try to get you money. If they don't, you learn one thing. They would have never paid you that much money anyway. So that raise you were waiting out for, those expectations, that's all bullshit. It's not happening. Second, if it works, you get money. And third, in most cases, in most cases, you'll be doing yourself a favor and getting a better job, whether it's the same job with more money or a different job for more money. You're still moving up in that process. So don't doubt yourself. And remember, the more of you do it, and the more often you do it, the more acceptable it will become and required it will become of employers to give employees large raises instead of incremental tiny cost of living wages that keep people in poverty. So get the fuck out there and get your fucking money. <sighs> Don't fucking take me seriously, guys. Seriously, though. Get your fucking money.